All right, congratulations. It's time to get started on Autocrat. So when you first open Autocrat, you went through add-ons and said launch. Now you've got this button up here that opens up as a bar on the right-hand side. So now it says new merge job. So we're creating a new job. So we'll say, we'll click on create new merge job. Loading, loading. You'll see that loading screen a lot, but that's okay. It's thinking. Um, it is doing a lot of behind the scenes work, adding things to your spreadsheet. All right, here we go. So first question is create, choose a template. Well, we've already made a template. You could create a template right from here, but I've had some trouble with it and I'm going to recommend that's why you, if you do it ahead of time, you know that it's set the way you want it to. So you've got to find it in your drive, wherever you happen to have stored it. So mine, if you can't remember the name of it, you can always search up here. That's why I recommended put the name template in the document title, because that way if I just search template, it will come up with every single document I've ever made that says template, template, template. Ah, there's my Bill Nye. And it will be by last modified. So this is the most recent one I did. So that will show up. So template is a good way to kind of trigger your brain to, yep, I'm looking for one of my templates. So that's the Bill Nye the Moon template. Say select. And it'll keep thinking. So this next step is where we do the linking. This is how we're going to connect that template we already made to our spreadsheet. Okay, name the merge job. You can call this something completely gibberish. Um, you can call whatever you want to. Maybe I'll just call it moon. This is only for you using the spreadsheet. It would really matter if you were doing multiple different autocrat runs on the same spreadsheet, but it can just be gibberish. It really doesn't matter. So say set. Okay, loading, loading, loading. So it says select the sheet that contains your merge data. So this it should automatically kind of jump to the one that you had open, but make sure it is the right one. You're not on just the form responses. I want to have the one I was scored. So this is where it can be very helpful or not. So wherever and the tag column is the tag that was in your document and the sheet header is what is on the spreadsheet. What does the spreadsheet actually say? And here's where we're doing the linking. So where we had username on the template document, we want to use the column that says username. And we go to question one. Question one was the tag we used, but we need to connect that, if I click on that drop down, with question one from the spreadsheet, which had these long questions. If you set it up so that the names are matching, username and username, it will automatically fill it in for you. Because our questions are kind of long, that's why I sh shortened it to question one. So I now need to go through every single one of these and do the proper linking. I'm, connect, I'm mapping the tags to the questions. So question two goes to question two, question three, question three, question four, and you can zip through this if you know how to count five, six, but do make sure that they match up. And there's lots of scroll bars over here. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, dun, 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 eleven, Twelve. Oh, this is so exciting. Thirteen. Fourteen. I can count. Fifteen. Let's try the scroll bar. There we go. Sixteen. And total score. All right. And I definitely recommend go back through, verify. Sixteen, fifteen, fourteen, thirteen, twelve, eleven, ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Because yes, if you map it incorrectly, you will get the wrong answers in the wrong spot. And that will be confusing for everybody. So once you're done, hit save and you're on to the final step. I'm actually going to separate it out and make a separate video for this final step because this is the most important part, but you can do it. All right, end of that video.